Happy Monday. What an on-time worship song. I admonish us all after prayer to listen to that song again. It is so timely for the word that God has given me on today. Take me to the King. This is Rise and Pray Lives Depend on It. A great big welcome to our returning callers. And for those joining us for the very first time, we are here Monday through Friday, starting at 555, which starts our praise and worship. And at 6 a.m. to 615, we have prayer with a war cry focus. Please, please take the opportunity to like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram. And for those who are following us on social media, if you ever want to meet us here at 555, the number is 712-451-0200. I pray that you are being strengthened, strengthened in this season and in this hour. We need prayer like never before. Today we're going into 2 Samuel 8, 2 Samuel um, 8, 1 through 12. Let me make sure I got that correct. 2 Samuel 8, 1 through 12. And the word, and we're coming out of the ESV version. And the word of the Lord reads, And David was angry because the Lord had broken out against Uzzah. And the, that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day. And David was afraid of the Lord that day. And he said, How can the ark of the Lord come to me? So David was not willing to take the ark of the Lord into the city of David. But David took it aside to the house of Obediam the Gittite. And the ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obediam, Obed-Edom, the Gittite, three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom. Obed-Edom, and all of his household. And it was told King David, the the Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city into the from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with rejoicing. The Ark of the Covenant is the sacred chest or coffer in which the tables of the law were deposited, written by the finger of God and witnessing to his covenant with his people. The Ark was a closed to a visible representation of God himself as men would see until Jesus. It's God's glory. Uzzah disregarded this. His death was a lasting lesson to the Israelites to take seriously the glory of their God. David became paralyzed after Uzzah's death. To be paralyzed is to render someone un able to think or act normally, especially through panic or fear. He struggled with fear, dread, and torment for three months as he watched the house of Obed-Edom become blessed since they knew how to possess the glory, since they now possess the glory of God. This provoked David to have to reinvent himself and reevaluate his position in God's kingdom. David needed a reset. David had to reconcile that he had neglected God's word and his instructions. He recognized that he needed to handle God's glory, the things of God, with high regard and respect. His position as king did not equate righteousness. 
Just like David, our position in the kingdom of heaven does not equate to righteousness without the blood of Christ. Today's war cry focus is go get God's glory. Go get God's glory. Hallelujah, Father. Father, I can't do your word justice like you can. So I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you would saturate the atmosphere with your glory, that you would saturate the minds and the hearts of your people, Father God, on today, that you will give them insight and give them understanding, God, in the name of Jesus, God, you are the only one that satisfies us. You are the one and only that we desire. At this very, very moment, we say thank you for that. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for choosing us on this day. Thank you for never letting us go. We are not alone. We have you, Father. And for that, we say thank you. We give your name glory and honor and praise on today, for you are the king. And we are asking Father God, take me to the king, God. We don't want to hear the same thing over and over again. We want to see your Shekinah glory. We want it back, God. We're going back to get it, God. Whatever we got to do to get it, God, we're going back, God. So, God, I'm thinking that your glory fills the whole earth, God. We are declaring your glory on today. Your laws make the simple wise, God. So, we're standing on your righteousness, God, because our righteousness are filthy rags, God. So, give us, God, wisdom as we enter into the throne of grace, God. Today, we come to you. Because obedience is better than sacrifice, God, in the name of Jesus. And we got to have an ear for your spirit. We got to have an ear for your instructions, God. We need your glory to destroy, God, the heaviness of our hearts on today. We're pressing forward on today. We're pressing forward towards that crown of righteousness, God. Oh, God, your word in Psalm 24 tells us the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, God. In the name of Jesus, God, for you have founded it upon on the seas and established it upon the floods, God. And your word says, who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place, God? He shall receive the blessings from the Lord. He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn just Deeply, God. So we're lifting up our heads on today, oh ye gates. We're lifting up our heads today, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. I tell you, saints, today, lift up your heads, oh ye gates. Oh God, we just thank you for your word, God. We thank you for your battle cry. We thank you, Father God, that we're standing in the presence of the Holy One. This is holy ground, God. We're in the presence of the King, God. And we're asking you today, Father God, to help us lift up our troubled head, God. Many are full of grief and sorrow on this morning, God. Many are full of worry and disappointment, Father God. So we ask you today to lift up our heads on today, God. Touch those that are paralyzed by their past, God. Those that are paralyzed by their mistakes, God. Those that are paralyzed by their burdens, God. Those that are paralyzed by the fear, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you, God, that we will put our trust in you on today, God. Help us not to doubt and worry, God. Help us, God, when we're paralyzed by wasting time, God. Precious time, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us, God, when we feel mediocre and we're feeling full of jealousy and envy as we're watching the world do whatever they want to do, God. In the name of Jesus, we shall not be moved in this season, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help us, God, as some of us are paralyzed by false doctrine. It keeps us stuck, God, stuck that we can't receive your glory, God. And it's your glory that destroys you, God, in the name of Jesus. So we're going to go get it, God. Show each and every one of us how you want us to get it, God. What are we supposed to do, God? Are we supposed to let go of idolatry, God? What are we supposed to give up, Father, God? How should we consecrate like David did, God, and seek your face before he went back to get the glory, before he went back to get the ark, God? We need your help today, God. God, we know that you are true and you are the 
have diseases, God. We ask you, God, to destroy the yoke. We ask you to help us sit still and pray, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Help us, God, not to put off a sod on, God. Some of us, God, are putting off a sod on and we're paralyzed and we're not feeling your glory, God. We're not seeing your glory because we're too busy, God, worried about what our sisters and brothers think of us, God. So we ask you today, God, that help us to go get God's glory. Help us to go get your glory, God. We're praying for the loved ones that those that lost loved ones this week. We pray for those that will bury the dead this week, God. And we're asking you in the name of Jesus that you will comfort them, Father God. We pray for those in ICU. We tell God the spirit, Father God, that is clogging their, their respiratory system to unclog in the name of Jesus, God. We pray for the elderly, God, who are lonely in group home, in homes, in elderly homes, God. We're praying for those that are, that are those that are not in elderly homes, Father God, that are away from their family Father God, hasn't touched their grandchildren, God. We're asking you to comfort them today, God. We're praying for families, God, that haven't seen each other for so long, God. There's a paraly, a par we feel paralyzed. We feel, Father God, hopeless. But I thank you for your glory, God. I thank you for your glory that will unite us, God. Oh, God, we're asking you for your glory to rest upon your people, God. We're praying, Father God. We pray for those that are awaiting justice. God, in the name of Jesus, mothers who lost their children to violence, God, in the name of Jesus, we're asking you to keep them, God. We ask you to protect them, God. We pray for those who are under persecution, God, in those countries that don't receive Christianity, God. We're praying for those, God, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that are lukewarm, God. In this season, we don't have time to be lukewarm, God. We gotta have a fire, God. So we're going to go get your glory, God. We're going to get your glory and we're going to be full of rejoicing, God. We're going to be full of joy, God. In the name of Jesus, let your glory come upon your people, God. In the name of Jesus, help them to think clearly, God. Give them wisdom. Give them understanding, God. Give them unspeakable joy, God. Oh, God, I thank you, God. We pray for those in the education system and the healthcare system. We thank you for the reformation that's happening right now, God. In the blessed name of Jesus, God. We thank you, God, and we declare it to be so in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we declare it, we decree it, and we believe that the glory is going to come upon all of us, God, those that are in a backslidden state. I thank you that the glory is coming, God. Oh, God, I thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. First Chronicle 15, 25. So David and the elders of Israel and the commanders of units of a thousand went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord from the house of Obed Edom with rejoicing. Go get God's glory and rejoice. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.